Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De Los Santos was not a good fight. I'm not going to call it a boring fight, but it sure wasn't a good fight. Not a lot of action at all. I was entertained with the punches that were thrown, but it wasn't a lot of action. Shakur Stevenson got booed. And I mean, he got booed throughout that whole entire fight. He got booed. And I'm going to give Shakur Stevenson the benefit of the doubt because he wasn't the only fighter inside that ring. He had an opponent. And his opponent was Edwin De Los Santos. So I don't know why people are attacking Shakur Stevenson. I don't know why people are coming after Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson wasn't inside that ring by himself. He was inside that ring against Edwin De Los Santos. So if you want to call that fight a boring fight, then you need to hold both fighters accountable, not just Shakur. Now, I'm going to say this. Shakur Stevenson does not beat Lomachenko. Shakur Stevenson was running his mouth about Devin Haney because of how close that fight was between him and Lomachenko. Now, Shakur needs to realize that he's not Lomachenko. Shakur Stevenson is not Lomachenko. What I saw tonight, Lomachenko is better. Lomachenko does not lose to Shakur Stevenson. I don't know why people think that Shakur is somehow this generational talent. He's not. He's a good fighter, but he's not this generational talent. He is not beating Lomachenko. He's not. And I don't understand why he's, you know, thinking that he's so much better than Devin and Lomachenko. I don't know why. I don't know why he's using those two fighters as a measuring stick to his greatness when he hasn't fought anyone on their level. Shakur Stevenson does not beat Devin nor Loma, especially not Tank. He doesn't beat Tank. He does not have the footwork. He doesn't. Lomachenko, Devin, Tank Davis, and even Frank Martin will beat Shakur Stevenson. And I called this about a year ago. About a year ago. Now, I'm not a Lomachenko fan. Y'all know I'm not a Lomachenko fan. But Shakur Stevenson needs to kind of pull away from calling out Lomachenko. Because Lomachenko, I'm sure, was watching this fight. Shakur Stevenson has shown that he needs somebody to attack him. He needs somebody to attack him or be a stationary target. Lomachenko is neither. Lomachenko isn't going to give a fighter what they want. He's not. And a lot of people are predicting that this is this is going to be the next fight for Shakur. For Shakur. God hope it isn't. It, 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 God hope it isn't. I told you guys, Shakur Stevenson doesn't have power. He has a great boxing IQ, but he does not have power. All this talks about Shakur Stevenson being this boogeyman and everybody's afraid of him. I mean, what fighter will be afraid of being outboxed? Any normal human being would be more afraid of being knocked unconscious or getting hurt. Shakur Stevenson is not someone that's going to go in there and hurt somebody. He's going to go in there and outclass somebody. That's Shakur Stevenson's game. His game is not to hurt people. His game is to outclass people. I don't think any fighter is afraid of being outclassed. I think most, and if not all fighters, are afraid of getting knocked the hell out. Shakur is not knocking nobody out. He's not hurting anybody. He's not. Timothy Bradley needs to pump his brakes. He needs to slow down on this, 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 this Shakur Stevenson hype. He, he does. He needs to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to tell you guys something. If this fight happens between Shakur Stevenson and Facility Lomachenko, do not, I repeat, do not be surprised if Lomachenko beats Shakur Stevenson. Because I sure the hells won't. I can already see Lomachenko beating Shakur Stevenson. I can see it. Shakur does not have footwork. He doesn't. He has great upper body movement like Canelo. But he does not have footwork. He does not have punching power. And he doesn't have the volume. And a fighter needs both punching power and volume to beat Lomachenko 
and a little bit of distance. A little bit of distance, punching power, and volume to beat Lomachenko, and Shakur has neither. Neither. He cannot outbox Lomachenko. He can't. He doesn't have the feet. Or he doesn't have the footwork. Look, I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed with Shakur Stevenson. I expected more. A lot more. The way that this man has been talking, the way that Timothy Bradley has been hyping his dude, I expected a lot more. This was matchmaking at its finest. Shakur was supposed to go in there and look dominant. I guess Edwin Dallas Santos didn't read the script. Because his his script says something completely different. Because many people thought that Edwin Dallas Santos done enough to edge out a draw. Or if not, maybe if won the fight. Because Shakur Stevenson didn't do nothing for the first four or five rounds. Edward Dallas Santos was the one initiating the fight. He sure was. And so, you know, this isn't me hating on, you know, Shakur Stevenson. I'm not hating on the man at all. He's a brother. But he needs to pump his brakes a little bit, close his mouth, go to the gym, and just think things over. Figure out what he wants to be as a fighter. Because he sure as hell isn't a puncher. I don't know why he's talking like he's this, this guy that's hurting people inside the ring. He's not. He's not hurting people. So him being this boogeyman or this most feared fighter or the most duck fighter, he better go ahead and kill that. Kill it. Because I don't think people is ducking Shakur Stevens. I don't think people fear Shakur. I think people are walking away from Shakur because nothing's being offered to them. That's what I think. Nothing on paper is being offered to the ones that's walking away from Shakur. And a lot of people say, well, you know, no, they're duck. No, I don't, I don't think they're ducking Shakur. I think they're ducking the paperwork. I think they're ducking the low ball offers. That's what I think. Shakur, he's nobody, like I said, no disrespect to him, but he's nobody for a fighter to fear. I think Lomachenko beats Shakur Stevenson. I think uh, Devin Haney beats Shakur Stevenson. I think uh, Javante Davis, without question, beats Shakur Stevenson. And even Oshaki Foster beats Shakur Stevenson. Frank Martin beats Shakur Stevenson. I think a lot of fighters beat Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson hasn't shown us anything different from what he's been doing since he turned pro. What, you, what Shakur Stevens is doing now is what he's been doing since he turned pro. I don't get what people are seeing about Shakur Stevenson to make him out to be the guy that's going to carry the throne. When he's been doing the exact same thing since he turned pro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he's coming forward, he's throwing the same combination. Yes, he can mix it up when he's in the pocket. But he has to be comfortable in the pocket or the fighter that he's in that pocket with pose no threat to him. But the fighters that I just listed that I think can beat him poses a huge threat to him. So he Shakur won't be sitting in the pocket with the guys that I think will beat him. And so Shakur, like I said, he's been doing the same thing over and over and over since he turned pro. Since Lomachenko turned pro, Lomachenko switched it up. We've seen Lomachenko box. We've seen Lomachenko be a volume puncher. We've seen Lomachenko go in there and get stoppages. We've seen Lomachenko's uh, box with one arm. We've seen a, a, a different variety of things from Lomachenko. We've seen Devin Haney win a fight with just a jab. We've seen Devin Haney be a great counter puncher. We've seen Devin Haney be a great boxer. We've seen Devin Haney put the pressure on his opponent. We've seen Devin Haney, you know, do a lot of different a variety of things. So we don't know what to expect from a Devin Haney when he fights. We can assume what to expect, but we really don't know because Devin Haney have shown in the last few years that he can do a lot of different varieties of things inside that ring. Gervonta Davis. I mean, Gervonta Davis is a great boxer. 
Javante Davis can utilize great lateral movement. Javante Davis can actually fight on the outside even while being the smaller fighter or the shorter fighter. Javante Davis have shown that he has a great equalizer. Something that I would consider a Shakur, Steve, a Shakur Stevenson's kryptonite. Javante Davis have shown throughout the years that he's been boxing that he can do a lot of different things inside that ring. Right? Frank Martin. Frank Martin is not just a boxer puncher. Frank Martin can actually be a great boxer. He's a great counter puncher. He has underrated footwork. You see, his nickname is the ghost for a reason, meaning that he's a slick fighter. Frank Martin's last three or four fights, Frank Martin has been in there banging it out with his opponents. He's been pressing the attack. He's been walking his opponents down. Before he became a conversation, he was known as a slick fighter, a fighter that likes to counter. And we've seen Frank Martin be a great counter puncher. But we've also seen Frank Martin be a great fighter. So Frank Martin has also shown a, a, a great variety of, of different things inside that ring. Oh, Shockey Foster. When he fought Ray Vargas, I believe it was Abner Morris that called him a shape shifter. Meaning that he does crazy things inside that ring. He, he's a fighter that won't give you the same look all the time. The man is a switch hitter like Terrence Crawford. He kind of, to me, he reminds me of a bit of a Terrence Crawford. The guy can fight behind a jab. He can go in there and bang it out, which he showed in his last fight. He can display power later on in the fight, which he's done in multiple fights. The guy can do it all. He can fight in the inside. He can outbox you. He can fight behind a jab. He can fight on the outside. The guy can do it all. But we cannot say the same thing for Shakur Stevenson. When Shakur turned pro, what we saw from Shakur when he turned pro is what we're still seeing from Shakur Stevenson. 